We as schools and head teachers like myself uh, have put in place the work and the risk assessments to make sure that it is safe for children to return to school. Among the things we put in place, uh, we have things like additional cleaning, uh, where we have uh, our cleaning staff coming in during the day to make sure that high traffic areas uh, like the toilets, for example, are regularly cleaned, that door handles are cleaned, and we put in place systems for staff uh, to be able to clean tables and things like that when the children leave the room. Uh, we have things like temperature guns that we'll use on all visitors to the school and indeed on the children when they enter. And we've recently had confirmation from central government that they are providing a number of testing kits, for example, to ensure that if uh, there is a situation where that somebody is at risk, uh, we can test and send that test immediately while isolating that child or that member of staff. As well as the issues around keeping the building safe and secure, there are worries about the children's learning and we're really keen that the gaps in learning that may have formed over the time children have been away from school uh, are dealt with promptly so that children don't lose out in the short or the medium term. Uh, so we're really keen to get as many children as possible back to school and back into school routines uh, so that we can get on with the business of teaching and learning, which is of course what we specialise in. Safeguarding is another concern. Obviously, when we're not seeing children, there are some children who are at risk from exploitation in the community. There are some children for whom family situations are pressured. And we want to make sure that actually we can support families and relieve some of that pressure uh, by making sure that our doors are open and we are supporting them uh, through the provision of education. The numbers of cases of domestic violence, for example, have gone up during COVID. And whilst that's an unfortunate statistic, it is a reality that we have to deal with. And this is one of the ways that we'll be able to make sure uh, that children are safeguarded by ensuring that actually that pressure is relieved and families are not living on top of each other for any longer than is absolutely necessary. If you do have any safeguarding concerns around a particular child, uh, please feel free to contact your local school. Uh, if you don't get satisfaction from the school, please reach out to the local authority. There are professionals available to talk to you around child safeguarding and they will seek to help you in that regard. My name is Andre Bailey. I'm principal at Nightingale Community Academy.